I just want to talk one more time about how our circulatory and our respiratory system work together to get oxygen through our body. These two put together are called our cardiopulmonary system. Okay, and the job of the cardiopulmonary system is to get oxygen to our body tissue. Okay, throughout our body. So we've got one system whose job it is to get oxygen into the body. We've got one whose job it is to move things through the body. So put together their job, their combined job is to get oxygen to tissue throughout the body and also to move waste. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got a respiratory system. Uh, in my diagram, it just looks like some lungs. We've got a circulatory system. In my diagram, it looks like a heart. And then down here, we've got, um, I wrote capillaries, but this is like our body, okay, and how our uh, body exchanges oxygen and, and carbon dioxide. So let's start with our lungs. We said that our, circ our respiratory systems has the job of getting oxygen into our body. So oxygen, good oxygenated blood is picked up. in the lungs, and that oxygenated blood gets pumped to the heart, okay? So the heart is constantly pumping, it's moving stuff around, and so this good oxygenated blood, and I'm using a pink or red marker uh, to show that this blood has oxygen in it, gets pumped to the heart, and then the heart pumps it out to the rest of the body, okay? So this is, again, still good oxygenated blood. That blood is then going to go to wherever it's needed, right? This could be our toe, our eyeball, whatever it is. Whatever part of our body needs that oxygen, um, it's going to go to a capillary in that part of our body. And what capillaries do is they exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. So when our blood gets to this capillary, wherever it is in our body, it's going to drop off this oxygen. Okay. So the capillaries are going to take oxygen out of our blood. And when they use that oxygen, they're going to add a waste product called carbon dioxide. So they're going to add carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide is going to come out of the capillaries. And now our blood no longer has this good oxygenated blood. Now it's got carbon dioxide. So it's got a waste product. So right here, we are picking up carbon dioxide and we're dropping off oxygen. Okay. So first we were traveling through an artery, which was going away from the heart. Okay. Arteries go away from the heart. Now we've gone through a capillary. We've gotten rid of this oxygen. We picked up some CO2. Now we are traveling in a vein. Veins go toward the heart. Okay, so uh, we've got this blood that's got CO2. It's got this waste product in it, this carbon dioxide. It's going to move back to the heart. Okay. The heart is then going to pump this back to the lungs so the lungs can fix this situation where we have a waste product and not oxygen. So uh, this CO2 blood is going to get pumped back to the lungs. The lungs are going to remove that carbon dioxide, so our blood's going to drop our carbon dioxide off. That carbon dioxide is going to exit at the lungs. Like we said before, the lungs pick up oxygen. And then we continue in this cycle. Okay, so again, we start at the lungs where we have oxygen in the blood. It gets pumped to the heart. The heart then pumps that out to the body somewhere in a capillary through an artery, which is moving away from the heart. Those capillaries, wherever they are, are going to take the oxygen out of the blood. They're going to add carbon dioxide. Then they're going to travel through a vein back towards the heart. Then it's going to get pumped back to the lungs, and the lungs are going to fix this situation. They're going to fix the fact that we have carbon dioxide and not oxygen in our blood, and they're going to put new oxygen in our blood. 